Ooh, cousins, cousins, cousins. This one right here. Ooh, this one right here is going to get you because apparently there's a lot of people out here that's dealing with this. We're talking about toxic family members. Ooh, child. Okay, here we go. What's going on, cousins? Welcome back to the No Leave Out podcast. It's your girl, Mary Kay Bell, and today we're talking about toxic family members. So recently on Instagram, if you're not following me, do that. But I have a broadcast channel and I asked a general question, you know, about some of the goals that we have in our lives and what we're doing to, um, you know, kind of push the needle on those goals. What are we presently doing to work towards our future goals? I also asked that question here amongst the channel members. Yeah, listen, I got quite a few responses about healing from toxicity, dealing with family members. And this is not the first time, you know, I've been hearing a lot about this and, and people breaking generational curses. And let me tell you something. I think that is so dope. I think that is so dope. How strong of you. You know what I'm saying? To want better for you, for your family, for the generations after you. I think that's amazing. I think it's something that everybody won't understand. And that's okay because everybody is not supposed to understand everything that you do, say, think, feel, all of that good stuff. Because listen, you see the overall picture, right? People don't see the overall picture. They just see what's in front of their face. So you kind of got to be okay with moving how you need to move for yourself and i think that kind of bleeds over into the toxic family member relationships um because here's the thing i don't know any family that's perfect okay i don't know any family not one that is perfect and yes i'm gonna say this i do think we live in a generation now where we get a whole of a word baby and we don't want to let that word go till we run it into the ground. And toxic is one of those words. Don't fight me, fight the wall. Listen, I'm going to just start by saying when it comes to parental type toxic relationships, I've heard some people talk about this and the examples that they have given really has been parents guiding or disciplining the child and I'm not talking physical y'all because I don't physically discipline my children so I'm not even talking about physically but you know as a child you don't, you're not going to understand everything in every no that the parent gives you you're not going to understand it until you become an adult there's so much there is so much now that I'm an adult so much that I understand about my mother and the decisions that she made in raising us oh my goodness but you don't see that coming up right so i do think sometimes there's a little bit of that in the mix and because toxic is such a hot word right now it's crazy that there are hot words but there are but because of that it's so easy to put that word on everything right now, do I think there are toxic family members in existence? Yes. Oh my gosh, y'all. You would not believe like some of the stuff that I see, some of the stuff that I hear, I listen to, you know, I, I get it. That's why I said I think it's so brave of the people who are intentionally healing from those things because listen here's the thing parents can be wrong that's one of the things that I pride myself on um, as far as how I interact with my children um, I'm not the parent that has a problem with saying I apologize I'm not the parent that does not allow their children to speak I'm not the um, parent that doesn't allow them to ask like you know well why is it that you know coming up with me and no I do not think this is toxic but coming up with me in my household it wasn't no asking why when, when your parents said something that just was what it was 
And that's the beauty about taking the meat and throwing away the bone. So take what you found useful and helpful to you coming up. And for me, that's like 90% of how I was raised, y'all. I'm telling you, yes, I was raised in a strict household. I was raised up in the church. There were things we couldn't do. We, it was, we couldn't date. All of the things, right? But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you like this. I look back now, and I was never envious of the kids who were able to go to parties and all of the things because I was a hermit, y'all. I kind of stayed to myself anyways, so it didn't bother me. But I look back at you know situations and I look back at people that I grew up with and you know you just have to be thankful about some things some things your parents are keeping you from you may not realize it but a lot of times your parents are keeping you from certain things right and I, I mean I for one appreciate that and you know so we're not I just want to make that clear I'm not when I say toxic I really mean toxic okay like not the cliche toxic I'm talking about toxic abusive brutal that type of thing hurtful harmful those type of people even family members can be loved from a distance right I, that's I, that's how I feel about that I mean you know family is a touchy subject and I'm gonna tell you like this you know we don't get to pick our families but I'm so grateful listen if you have a family that you know loves you and I'm talking about loves you down you thank God for that that's something I do not take lightly because everybody does not have that and I'm not foolish enough to think that just because somebody is a parent an aunt an uncle a cousin a sister a brother whatever that they can't be hurtful or harmful to another person's life to a relative's life to their progress to their happiness you know it's just it, it blows my mind because family it's supposed to be that core. It's supposed to be that nucleus. Like when the world is going crazy, bam, you got that 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 seed right there. You know what I'm saying? You got it. And there's nothing that, uh, you know, people on the outside of that nucleus can throw at you that will shake you because you got that, that support. You know, you have that foundation and some people do not have it. So if you have it, thank God for that you know and again no family is perfect so we can't really look for relationships to be perfect just because they're family you're gonna have your ups and downs y'all gonna argue y'all gonna get on each other's nerves whatever but when you have someone who was damaging to you <laughs> in a way that if they were anybody else you would completely distance yourself from that person yeah that's toxic that is a there are people out here um i got a comment yesterday about forgiving a toxic family member that this young lady was she was forgiving a toxic family member so that she can move forward with that relationship and i told her i thought that was very brave of her and um you know it's sad that those sort of of relationships exist and those sort of strains exist but you know when you decide that you want to heal from something that's a powerful move that is a powerful step because what that saying is you don't have the authority to hold me captive in this in this messy part you don't have the authority to keep me here. You don't have the power to keep me here. That's what that is saying. And that's why I think that's so dope. When you decide, you know what? I'm going to take this back. I'm not going to live in this. You know what I'm saying? And baby, that's a powerful move because there are some people and especially relatives because traditionally they're supposed to be this strong, unbreakable bond, right? So there are some people out here that feel like they can do whatever they want to do. They can say whatever they want to say. It doesn't matter. You're not going anywhere. You're family, right? Sometimes some folks you got to show 
okay some folks you got to show and that doesn't mean uh, reciprocate sometimes i hear people say all the time i match energy y'all that's that's harmful that's harmful to yourself so when i hear people say that i get it i i get it you want to give what people give to you i get it just remove yourself though see because you're when you give that energy that means it's in you to give when you're out here matching energy that means that somebody has the ability to alter the way that you move low key that's exactly what that's saying you're giving somebody way too much power y'all way too 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 much power that's what it boils down to when you match energies that means you can be honey you move like the wind whatever somebody does that affects how you move and i don't think when you look at it like that i don't think that there's anybody who wants to move according to what somebody else does right when you think about it like that baby when y'all get real good and ignorant with just removing yourself and let them folk deal with what they got to deal with because they dealing with something they're dealing with something let those folk deal with what if listen the same way you're putting in the work to heal they got to do that but sometimes you gotta let them do it from afar and it's okay you still pray for them you still hey god bless you i'm gonna be over here healing and i don't think family members are exempt from that distance that's just me personally i'm not on here to tell anybody what to do these are just my opinions about how i feel about a subject that i've seen so much of I think it's absolutely beautiful when people decide, you know what, family or no family, this, I don't like this. I don't like this situation and I'm making the decision to heal. That's a personal thing because everybody's not going to go along on that journey with you. You got to understand that and you got to be okay with that. Okay. Some people just want to stay there and you got to let them stay. You can't carry somebody else to your destination what if that's not their destination now you tired you can't even enjoy when you get to the destination because you've been carrying somebody you dog slap tired okay and meanwhile they're not even appreciative of it because they didn't want to go in the first place you have to let people move the way that they're going to move one thing we cannot do is change a person that's not for us to do okay only thing that we can control i just told my daughter this yesterday that's wild the only thing we can control is ourselves if there's someone that does something that you you know you don't understand like i don't like this and that's fine what you do is you place the people where they need to be family and it could be family honey it could be anybody that's one thing i tell my kids if you if somebody harms you i don't care who it is it could be family it could be your best friend it could be a professor in school it, i don't care who it is that's not we're not here to 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 have to live in in harm and hurt you know what i'm saying which is that's just not that's not no that's not the abundance that were promised right so yeah i just personally want to um just give a big up to everybody who's deciding to heal even from family members i don't think that they're off limits to distance and healing and then when it's time to bring it back together you'll bring it back together you know if ever that time comes once you heal and once you forgive you've done what you need to do you're living in that forgiveness you're not living in the anger and the in the frustration and the hurt and the pain you're on the other side of that but see when there's two people or three people or four people or five people in the in the midst of it all they have to do their work you know and unfortunately some people just not gonna do it some people don't want to do it and you have to be okay with that but see when you heal you're gonna be okay with it you're gonna be so okay with it honey that it's gonna get on their last good nerve unfortunately okay but you still live in your healing i think that's amazing 
I think that's amazing. No, I don't think family members are off limits. Mm -mm. You heal from who you need to heal from. And um, I pray that everybody out there that's on that healing journey, I pray the best for all of you guys and your situations and even the other people that's involved. I pray for healing. I pray for reconnection if that's possible. If not, hey, you live in your healing and your forgiveness. That's it, right? Yeah, but I, I also want people to... um be clear about what toxic is because everything is not toxic Ooh, child, everything is not toxic okay just because we got an attitude about something does not mean because <laughs> baby folk be want stuff to be toxic so bad i'll be like chad you better be glad you don't have a toxic relationship just be happy about it. just say something get on your nerves okay just say it get on is it hey stuff is gonna get on your nerves it does not make everything toxic toxic is deep so for those of you who are coming out of that and healing from that you better go girl you better go boy I, I i love it i love it for you guys and i wish you the best in it i wish you the best in your journey i don't know who need to hear this but keep going go till you get to the end go till you get all the way through the forgiveness and the healing and then come back and tell me about it, okay? All right, y'all. Peace, love, life.